Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilling. Welcome back to another video in our career series. Today, I wanted to speak about top 10 mechanical or automotive engineering jobs in India that you can apply for. Here, I have listed down uh, 10 top mechanical and automotive engineering jobs. And let's start with the top two, right? CFD analyst and CFD engineer. Why have posted it in the top two? Because those are some of your highest paying jobs. So how do you get into CFD role uh, or a CFD analyst or a CFD engineer role? You need to have very good fundamentals in fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer. You need to have a very good no tool knowledge uh, in one of the computational fluid dynamics tools. It can be ANSYS Fluent, Star CCM Plus, Converge. And in order to kind of have a very high growth, you need to have good fundamentals in uh, say MATLAB and Python and you need to know how to solve the governing equations in a solver based problem. You also need to know how to solve the governing equations and what is the approach taken by each of these solvers in order to solve those governing equations. What does this do? It helps you to understand whenever you click on a button what's happening in the background of the solver, right? If you know all these aspects, your growth as a CFD analyst or a CFD software developer or a CFD engineer will be really high. So those are the first two jobs that I wanted to speak about. The third job is design. So design over a period of time has been one of the most popular jobs for a mechanical and automotive engineer. Previously, it was just a solid, uh, solid modeling, surface modeling and sheet metal. But over the last few years, we have seen a lot of other jobs. The jobs that are in the design engineering market right now are for, as a design engineer, you can apply for wiring harness design, automotive wiring harness, automotive mold design, automotive BAW fixture design, uh, Jixon fixture design. And uh, if you are looking into plastic modeling, uh, plastic uh, modeling designer, uh, BAW uh, designer, these are the other design oriented jobs that have cropped up in the last four to five years and that will that uh, pathway will also continue in the next 10 years. So if you are wanting to develop a design engineering career, you need to take a look at some of these uh, new job roles as well. The fourth one and the fifth one are CAE and FEA engineer. So usually right now, uh, a lot of FEA engineers are also called as CAE engineers. So CA is basically computer aided engineering, FEA is finite element analysis. This usually uh, for a CA engineer, what we see in the industry is you need to have a very good understanding of a pre-processing tool. It might be ANSA or HyperMesh and you need to have a very good understanding of MATLAB or Python. These are fundamental CAE roles that we look into and uh, so uh, and fortunately there are a lot of CAE roles that have come in the last couple of years in India. Right. So that is something that you need to think about as an FEA engineer. You need to have very good understanding of pre-processing, which is either ANSA or HyperMesh. Then you need to start knowing the fundamentals of solid mechanics, strength of materials and finite element analysis. If you are really good at this and if you know tools like LSDyna, ANSYS Workbench or Abacus, you can basically get into a FEA domain. In FEA itself, there have been few hot topics, which is basically noise and vibration and harshness, durability. And these two domains are analyzed using softwares like Abacus or Nastran. So if you are looking into something in those domains, these are the tools that you need to look into, right? So that is with respect to FEA engineer. So simulation engineers, uh, some companies are looking for simulation engineers. So a simulation engineer is basically either a CFD engineer or a FEA engineer who basically uh, take care of one the whole simulation aspect of it if you have good fundamentals in cfd and fea right now we see a lot of simulation engineers uh, roles as well crash engineer in fea itself there is one particular topic called explicit dynamics explicit dynamics is anything which has high impact with high velocity impact is explicit dynamics uh, right now what we have seen is with the new vehicle safety assessment uh, regulations every manufacturer needs to test the car for crash analysis before sending it to production right this uh, law came into account in 2017 october or 2018 october and post that a lot of indian manufacturing companies and also us or european manufacturing companies are hiring crashworthiness analyst so as a crashworthiness analyst you need to have good fundamentals in fea in uh, softwares like lsdyna radios and uh, in pre-processing using hypermesh or ansa so you, if you want to go into that domain, you need to take a look into crash. So pre-processing engineer is very similar to CAE engineers. Again, here you are purely doing pre-processing using ANSA or HyperMesh. Right now is one of the hottest jobs in the market 
because a lot of companies want pre-processing engineer so the only disadvantage with that is you are kind of boxed into just pre-processing so if you get into pre-processing engineer you need to start also learning a solver in order to move ahead in your career so applications engineer so if you do not know coding but you know the tool and the fundamental knowledge really good you can go and work as an application engineer a application engineer will be there is a cfd application engineer fea application engineer and uh, multiple dynamics application engineers so these application engineers make sure that the tool is used to the maximum extent help you or help the company to retrieve uh, valuable insights from the tool so those are the application engineers then a uh, very uh, new field that is kind of cropping up is uh, electric and ic integrations engineer for example there has been a lot of research a lot of development in ic engine but with the electric vehicle uh, development it's pretty new so as a mechanical or automotive engineer you, if you know how to integrate uh, uh, between ic engines and electric uh, vehicles then you are very sought after in the market right something to look after is electric and ic engine engineer and if you know fundamentals of hybrid electric vehicles controls and battery management systems so you can get into these kind of roles these are the 10 job roles that are more prevalent right now in india so if you are looking to uh, apply for any of these roles you need the fundamental knowledge you need the tool knowledge and you need to know how the tool is working in the background so that you are not constrained to one particular tool so check out some of our courses at skilling we have domain based coursework that will help you develop the skills that are required to apply for these jobs right we have had huge success in students taking up these courses and uh, developing a, a, a career out of it so you can also do it so we have provided the link below take a look at it and uh, if you have any other questions please comment in the video thank you so much